Hello ladies and gentlemen, Excellentor here and welcome back to another YouTube video. Now today I'm very excited, Infinite Flight 22.5 update has literally just come out in the App Store. Um, go download it now, you can get your update. If your update is not showing, go to your settings in your mobile device, um, go to general, date and time. And if you change your date and time to a time in the future, go to the App Store and then go back from the App Store because um, it won't work and then set your date and time automatic again and then the update will appear um, pretty much immediately okay so if that, you don't have your update now that's how you get it um, so in this 22.5 update let's just see what if I have added so um, there, this update is focused on the addition of new 3D airports and there are 62 new 3D airports in the um, update and there are a few there are five new liveries okay so we'll just have a quick look at these liveries um, so they were narrowed down to the top 10 livery requests. Now I know there's a 787 somewhere. So let's just see. 7879 we've got on the Aero Mexico. Oh, is that it? Yep, that one there. So that's a new livery. Oh, it, I, I can it does look nice, that livery. I believe it's on... Yeah, there we go. So if on, it's on the 8 and now it's on the 9. It looks a bit nicer there. You can see, like, just the difference in the whiteness. We've got a Qantas livery on here as well, finally. Look at that. So we've got now we've got the Qantas livery. We've got the Latam in the A321. Um, there it is. So we've got, ooh, that is nice. I might be fine that later. And we've got a CityLink A320. Uh, it should be here somewhere. There it is. Ooh, that is, a, that is a nice livery. Green. Don't see that very often. Don't see that very often. And we've got a Vistara 787 as well. So they're very focused on their 787s. Um, unfortunately, no rework yet, of course. Now, that is a nice livery. Doesn't that look nice? Shall we use that for our... Um... Yeah, we'll use that. So, um, out of the mini airport, so Stuttgart, of course, is now a 3D airport and infant flight. I'm pretty sure it leads Bradford up here somewhere is now 3D. That's it there. So that's now a 3D airport. Um, and there, there are just, there are so many airports now in 3D that Infinite Flight have released. Um, now, not many of them are well known 3D airports, but there is one airport which has had very big changes in this update that I have seen. It's had a full rework, in fact, and that is right. It's JFK International Airport. Now, so for those of you who noted, I've just got a little map up at the moment. And some of the airports that might be worth noting is Wellington in New Zealand is now 3D. Um, where else is there? So there's a few in Uganda. Um, I said Bordeaux in France, which I think is where the Airbus factory is. Um, so that's worth noting as well. And loads in America have been fully reworked. Um, quite a few down in Chile as well have had a rework. Um, and a couple in Alaska. So anyway. Let's just let's, let's go straight to JFK. Let's just see how it's looking over there in JFK. Um, but while this says, I'll let you know what Infinite Flight said about JFK Airport. So they said JFK Airport is one of their first major hubs to be added um, since 3D was initially added. And since that time, um, the way 3D Airports was built has continued to develop and evolve um, to allow greater detail um, without consuming any more resources. So without your iPads blowing up, basically. Um, and this comes in the form of custom 3D object models and improving the textures, which is something I did say JFK needed if any of you watched my top airports and infant flight video. Um, so that's very important. So when JFK was built, um, the best practices were still being implemented. This means that it contained a lot of unnecessary structures at this airport and we have just loaded in actually. And you can, well, for a start, this livery is beautiful. I really like this Indian livery. Um, Let's just have a look around the airport, shall we? Whoa. Now this. This is amazing, the work they've done to change this airport. It looks so much better compared to the old airport, actually. And look, so that control tower. Oh, it, it looks so much nicer. Maybe we can get... Oh, wow. <laughs> look at that, they've got... They've actually got like buses in that now. That's a really cool look. That. <sighs> wow. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a bit lost for words at the moment. So we've got like buses links now. Uh, which is really, really cool. We've got roads that go around the airport. 
So we're just going to go around and see what's here. So, yeah, look. So it's like the drop-off. Like, we've got taxis. The yellow taxis. Um, buses. I mean, do the taxis say taxi? It'd be cool if they had, if they had, oh, don't worry, if they had taxi written on them. But we know they're taxis because they're yellow and they're parked there. But that's a really cool addition. So just following the road now. Um, where, where are you going to? You're just in a big circle. Yeah, you just sort of disappear into the tunnel. So we've got these buses and like general cars and tax. Oh, they seem to be sinking in the road a bit. Um, but it's all right, it's fine. So let's, yeah, let's now zoom out now we've done a full circle. And look at this place. So look how much better this airport looks. That's crazy. That is honestly crazy. So let's just continue on what Infinite Flight were saying while I can try to show you just bits of the airport. So basically the ed editors have um, used some oh, hacks, it says, to create arches and other shapes that are no longer supported. Um, the airport was too detailed and contained way too many polygons. Um, so then when the time came to have more jet bridges, it would have been too much for anything. Um, they've learned since the first versions of these airports um, that a full rework was of course required. And I believe I did say that before, that this airport was definitely in need of a rework. rework. Um, so Edith is now getting closer to having a finished project. However, between editing and reviewing for the accuracy... Um, it's not a fast process and it, yeah that is understandable of course it's not going to be a very fast process at all and um, so they're, they're very excited to share this with us and just a thank you to the people which have helped out um so levet e coops deer crusher and lord Wizrak. it says um as they released so that's pretty cool very cool very cool so um jfk has had a, a full rework now this is pushing it probably now one of the best airports in the mobile flight scene like just look at the detail in this terminal it's really up there and I'm, I'm really sad i've already released my best airports video but for detail poof, this airport is in its own league it'd be nice to now see dubai and hopefully they can bring in the curvy structure that the airport um has um but that'd be quite cool but it's 62 3D airports. It's huge, I think, personally, for um, an update of this size. Um, also, apparently the oh, apparently the call sign search has changed. So sometimes in its small details that bring the best quality of life improvements for users, frequently used countries or airlines as their call sign. We had this tomorrow. The update you can narrow your search using a new search field, making the transition to another airline or general aviation call sign of breeze so apparently it looks like you can change your call sign in flight online of course now so let's just um just see if these any of these transitions have actually changed um but these all look the same i believe so none of these have actually changed either but this livery is beautiful i really do like it and it's not white it's like sort of creamy so it's quite a nice color as well I'd imagine that's the actual livery colour. Um, but yeah, wow. Just look at this. What an aircraft. What an aircraft to be flying. What an aircraft. Okay, so I've just jumped in the CityLink livery as well. So we'll just have a quick look at this. And I am at a different airport. Um, so this livery, it looks really good. There is a good fine attention to detail. When you zoom in, it's still a bit blurry, but I think that must be down to the A320s. But they've even tried, like here, with the Guardia Indonesia, it's readable. Um, and that's one of the main things, you, you can read it. And I think that's very important. So we're at um, Stuttgart Airport, which is located in Germany. And I think the detail in this airport as well is really, really good. Um, so these are obviously where the car's meant to be, these weird black lines, um, I'd imagine. I don't know if there are, are there meant to be cars here? Because this is, looks like a car park that. So I'd imagine there's meant to be cars and buses and something. Not just black lines, perhaps that'll have a hotfix patch soon. Or hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, but yeah, looking at terminals all in all, there has been um, a lot of detail. Like every building's different and unique. You've just, even here, look, you've just got spinning um radar system here just details like this look how cool this is who would have thought you'd have something as cool as this in infinite flight um 
because I definitely wouldn't have seen it coming a few years back. So it's definitely one of the better additions that the flight simulator's had in such a while. And all the small links here, you've got this little building. Anyone know what this is? Because um, I don't, but let me know down below. Um, so yeah, wow, well, I think I'll be flying here later as well, to be honest. So you've got more and more buildings. That's a fire station there by the looks of it. So either, just small details. Again, this airport is now amazing. So let's go back to our library. Now, there is a few more things which um, I think are worth noting. So I'll just show you on the maps. Um, so Manila Airport in the Philippines has also been added in 3D, which is the main airport in the Philippines. So it's the biggest airport um, in the Philippines and it's now in 3D. So if you would like to check out, I won't ruin it all for you. You can all go have a look and I'll probably do a video there later on in the week. So if you do think um, you'd like to go have a look at that, um, please go ahead. Now, all in all, this update is very good. Unfortunately, it was not the Embraer E175 rework or the F-18 rework that we were all hoping for and expect, well, not expecting, but hoping for. Um, however, that, that's just, that is okay. There is nothing wrong with that. Um, and hopefully in the next update, you know, we will see the um, lovely rework of the Embraer one E175 now 3D airports updated quite a few of these have actually been updated with an info flight so Innsbruck has been updated Vienna has been updated Salzburg um, just in Austria it also says down here that um, Dubai airport has been updated so perhaps it does has those new curvy terminals that I was hoping for so we'll just pop here quickly uh, but again Brussels has been updated in Brazil few of them have been um, not too many massive airports Kastrup in Denmark um, Brest in France Frankfurt Cologne and Munich all in Germany have been updated um, so yeah it just says 3d airports updated um, so of course in the United States we've got loads in here like Miami's there JFK should technically be on the list because we've just had a look at it um, now oh wow Yes, so Dubai has definitely changed by the looks or a little bit. Um, I feel like the terminal's gotten a bit bigger. I'm not too sure. That might just be me. A bit of a Mandela effect. Um, I don't really know, actually, if this has changed. Can't tell if it has or hasn't been updated. It says it has. Um, so I'm going to have to go with that. Ooh, I think it has. It must have. Yes, this 3D airport is updated. Um, and there's been eight airport layouts which have actually changed as well. Um, but they're mainly RAF bases or smaller airports. So, if you did enjoy this YouTube video, please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. And please do enjoy the 22.5 update. Good night. And you're